The Las Vegas Police Department issued a statement yesterday afternoon regarding an automobile accident involving Raiders receiver Henry Ruggs. A tragic situation. Ruggs was driving a Corvette that rear-ended a Toyota RAV4, set it ablaze, and authorities found a deceased victim inside the Toyota. Henry Ruggs, according to the Las Vegas police, will be charged with DUI resulting in death. That's a Class B felony with a prison term of 2 to 20 years. Quickly, they reached the decision, and I don't know what evidence it was based on, but it was enough to get them to say that quickly, Chris. And uh, a very, very serious situation. Our condolences and our thoughts, obviously, to the victim. But for Henry Ruggs, and, and look, we, we, we've talked about this time and again, there's no excuse in today's society to not find a ride when you're impaired, if you're impaired, if there's any chance you're impaired. We're all carrying around a device. You just press a couple buttons, and a car shows up and takes you home. And you can use that same device to go back and get your car the next day. No excuse for driving while impaired. There's an obligation for the people around the individual who's impaired. We don't know any of those facts yet, but just a horrible situation. And uh, and on top of everything else, overnight, the Raiders released Henry Ruggs, yeah. who was the first receiver taken in the 2020 draft. And that tells me. Yeah, it's something's bad. I don't know though. what it tells me. I don't know what it tells. I, it, it, I was stunned by it. You know, and I, I, just, I, I think there's more to the story that will help us understand because I can't imagine it was a knee-jerk reaction because this kid needs some support right now. He's 22 years old, and he committed something that was not intentional, but it was wrong, and he will live with those consequences for the rest of his life. And with all this discussion that we're having, important relevant and overdue discussion about mental health. I just worry about the kid having that domino fall in the immediate wake of the accident. That's, that's what I'm concerned about. Cause it's, cause as wrong as what he did is, I, 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 I don't, with the stress he's dealing with, yeah, two wrongs already. don't make a right is what you're trying to. Well, but say. it doesn't. But yeah. it, it it just you don't know what's going to put him over the edge at this point. Yeah, because he's got to be going through hell right now. Because again, he's 22 years old and he's screwed up, and he would surely admit it, assuming the allegations are true. And I don't know that that firing him abruptly on the day that it happened is the way to help him find his reckoning, find his peace, make. Make good if he ever can for what he did. I'm just that's what bothered me about it. I'm having a hard time articulating it because I think it's it's naturally emotional for everyone involved. But I kind of wish they'd waited a little while to let this kid and and I know he's the bad guy in all this if the allegations are true. Right. But he's still a human being who deserves compassion and support and understanding because he didn't do it on purpose. And I'm not defending him. I'm just saying. I wish they would have just waited a little bit because he's only 22 and he can only deal with so much. And he's dealing with more than he's ever had to deal with in his entire life. And to have this thrown on top of it is not ideal, in no, my opinion. No, no. I, I mean, I, I hear you. I do. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a bad situation altogether. I mean, man, the Raiders taking another haymaker, you know, as far as their organization's concerned. Um, I, like, you know... But my my thought was a little similar to yours, Mike. I I thought like, ooh, when I saw he was released right away, I just went, you know. And again, we don't know. I'm not. I'm just spitballing football here, and just things that go through your mind and experience. Was there a history a little bit that they know about? I don't know. Or was the blood alcohol content level so egregious that it just was like, whoa, like that's un. You can't get in a car like that. Like that's insane. I don't know. It does seem like there's something else there. That's all I'm trying to spitball and say. But, uh, yeah, I would think he's fragile. Uh, my condolences to the victim and their family as well. Um, but that doesn't mean you necessarily just don't care about somebody else either. I think that's what you're kind of trying to say here. And it is a 22-year-old kid. And, yeah, he's wrong, big time wrong. He's going to pay the consequences too. I mean, he's going to pay the consequences. But that doesn't mean – you know, you, you don't try to help a guy with some of the mental struggles he's going to have with this whole issue, too, I think is what you're trying to say there. And, and, and surely they didn't do it 
to avoid paying him the balance of his salary for this year because it's not all that much. They've already given him the bulk of his money in his signing bonus, but he's eligible for paid leave if a felony charge is officially filed against him. And sometimes what will happen is a guy gets accused of a crime and the team just just moves on because they don't want to pay him to not play. But I, I, I just I, I, it feels to me like, as you said, the, the instinct here is, given the abrupt nature of the move, that this isn't the first time there's been something, that this isn't a zero tolerance situation, that, that there's some backstory to this that we don't know that caused the Raiders to decide it was appropriate in the immediate aftermath of this accident to sever ties with Henry Ruggs. Again, we don't know that. It could just be it could just be that they, they felt they had to do this after all the heat they took for the John Gruden emails. I don't know. But um I it there's just I just I hope the kid's okay. And um I don't I, I hate what happened. I hate what he did. I hate when anybody gets behind the wheel of a car and doesn't take advantage of the very quick and easily accessible alternatives to get you home. And I, I would like to think as a people we have evolved past the days when, you know, folks, ah, you know, I'm fine. I can make it home. No, you're not fine. And you shouldn't even try. And uh, I just feel like there's more to the story that we don't know. I just, I, I, the, the, look, the kid's life is permanently changed. And yes, the life has permanently changed. The person who died in the accident and their family has changed. I mean, a lot of lives were affected yesterday. Um, but uh, uh, I, I just, I, you know, he's, he's, he's assuming the allegations are true. Uh, he may have never played football again anyway. Um, but I, I just that we, we hear about the support system that is in place. And I feel like he needs that support now. Maybe the Raiders will still give it to him. Maybe they felt compelled to sever ties officially, but but the kid's going to need some help. He's going to be hurting. He's going to be ex- experiencing some stuff that is going to be very difficult for a 22 year old. And and I just hope he gets the help he needs as he as he works through this. Because again, he didn't do it on purpose. He didn't he he, he didn't he didn't do it intentionally. And I, surely he would admit immediately that he was wrong, assuming these allegations are true, Chris. Yeah, I mean a hundred percent. I mean. It's this is it's life changing for him, you know. And again, uh, sometimes and again, I'm not trying to make excuses for him. And it's a, it's a horrible thing, like you said. But I do think the outside world sometimes forgets that these are, you know, a lot of the times when we're critical as 40 year old men or 50 year old men. I go to like family barbecues and then they're so critical. And I just want to go, man, just relax a little. They're they're 23. Do you remember how stupid you were when you were 23? You know, and again, I'm not trying to make an excuse, but yeah, it's a young kid who made a horrible mistake, horrible mistake. Um, well, but but I but I I uh, I feel for the victim's family and and him. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. You know, I can hey, you know, uh, not to it's apples to apples, but you remember um, the receiver played at the University of Tennessee, Stallworth, right? He had um, is it Dante Dante Stallworth, yes. right? He had the Jay Walker, who he hit with the car right late, early in the morning one year. I mean, Dante Stallworth was as nice a guy as you could be around. And that affected him, like, greatly. Like, it really affected him. And I can speak to that a little bit just because I was in New England and he was there a little. And I know he was shaken by that. So uh, this is not an easy thing to overcome. And we're not trying to be insensitive to the victims and the victim's family in any shape, way, or form here. And and this isn't apples to apples either, but you know I think of the John Gruden situation. I think it's possible to say the person did something wrong, and there will be consequences that are deserved. But at the same time, there are other aspects that need to be considered, and we need to always remember there's a human being at the middle of this, even if it's somebody who did something they shouldn't have done. That doesn't mean they get permanently outcast from society. Henry Ruggs will have a debt to repay society through whatever prison time he must serve, but he still deserves dignity, respect, and compassion. And he's 22. And, you know, this is something that and they call it wisdom. I just call it getting old. The longer you live and the more experiences you have, the more you understand the world. And when you get to the point where, you know, some of these some of these kids are younger than your kids, it, you view things a different way. And, uh, you know, it's I can't imagine what his parents are going through. Yeah, sure. After this, sure. you know, and, and the guilt that they feel 
and the and the turmoil that they're feeling. And I know it's worse for the person who died, but there's multiple victims in this tragedy, and we we wish the best to everyone involved, and and we hope that that uh, the family of the victim works through this, that Henry Ruggs works through it, and uh, we move forward. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.